You coming to the concert tonight, Mac? Does wearing a ski mask in the bank make you the life of the party? <laughs> See you there, Mac. Mac, I thought we were going to work on our science project. It's due tomorrow. Look, Squeal, you're my best friend, but you worry too much. Besides, I did a little science experiment of my own. Oh, boy. I don't like the sound of that, Mac. I put this in Mr. Schnepple's coffee this morning. Mac, that's sodium hydroxide. You think it's enough to postpone the science fair? That stuff's pretty toxic, Mac. I think you just canceled it. Is your name Kathy Hibbins Jr.? It is. And you're an expert in sociopathy, are you not? I am. How would you diagnose the lead character of this show? I would say that he's a narcissist with sociopathic tendencies, possibly verging on the psychopathic. What would you say the effect of a show like this could have on an impressionable young man like Jameson? It's not just Jameson. I think we all are susceptible. How so? I think television has a tendency to glamorize. For example, if one were to watch the coverage of this very trial, they might hear me make mention of all the wonderful things they could find on my Etsy. And this might entice them to go online and check it out for themselves. Miss Hibbins Jr., I've already warned you twice. If you plug your Etsy one more time, I will hold you in contempt of this court. It's only the truth, Judge. After all, I am under oath. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay, I sentence you to one day in the county jail. <sighs> Don't roll your eyes at me, young lady. Two days. Is that all you got? All right, three days in jail and no TV for a week. Ha, huh, three days is nothing. Four days. Why is she doing this? I could do that in my sleep. Although, truth be told, I'll probably be awake for half of it. You want more? Yes. Five days in jail. <laughs> Five days? Five days, he says. Only five days? Psh, give me a break. All right, Miss Hibbins Jr., six years in jail. Ha, six years? That's a piece of cake. Seven years. Ooh, I'm so scared. Miss Hibbins Jr., we can't do this all day. You give me no choice. I sentence you to death. Oh, shoot. That was our whole case. Oh, shoot. My nutcracker toy storied on me and escaped. <laughs> Ooh, looks like things really heated up in court today between Kathy Hibbins Jr. and Judge Thursday. Hi, I'm Nipple Vanders, and if you haven't been living under a rock, then your house is better than mine. But if you have, here's some of the drama that you may have missed in the courtroom. Celebrity attorney Hector Hectomy and neglectful parent Sandy Blather are going head to head to head, and they mean business. It's a real battle of the wits. It's the trial of the century, and we have the exclusives. We even caught up with late for class star Skylar Taylor Justin, who gave us an earful on his opinion of the courtroom craziness. Barnum J.J. Sims is a good man. He's actually a very positive influence. For example, he's the one who told me about low-carb alcohol and reduced tar cigarettes. I didn't know there were healthier options. I never smoked or drank before. I may be living under a rock because I don't know what money is. So don't take my word for it, but I tend to agree with Skylar. After all, I saw it on TV. 